Hello, and welcome to Aldara, the interactive choose-your-own-adventure story. You're currently playing as Cole, a young captain in the household troops of Count Yvonne. You hold the power to vote on his choices and shape his destiny. Yesterday, you voted to go to the nearby armory first and get your new gear, so let's find out what happens in this episode of Aldara. You decide to head to the nearby armory first and get your new gear. The prospect of being a captain and having the proper uniform fills you with a sense of pride and anticipation. You quicken your pace, eager to see what awaits you at the armory. As you approach the armory, you notice the sturdy stone building with its reinforced doors and windows. A sign hangs above the entrance, depicting familiar crossed swords and the crest of the Count, indicating that this is indeed the place you're looking for. Pushing open the heavy wooden doors, you step inside and are immediately greeted by the scent of polished metal and oiled leather. The armory is filled with racks of weapons and shelves of armor, all meticulously organized and displayed. A burly armorer, his arms covered in soot and grease, looks up from his workbench, looks you up and down, and frowns. King's men only, he says with a gruff voice. You approach the counter and show him the golden pin that the count gave you. His eyes widen in recognition, and a small smile creeps onto his face. Wow. His lordship must be getting desperate. <clears throat> well, who am I to argue? Come on. He says. Before you can even reply, he starts walking towards a back room. He pulls out a bunch of measurement tools and a sheaf of parchment. Stand there and stay still, he says with a quill in his mouth while he's opening a bottle of ink. He then reaches over and pulls you a little bit more into the light of a nearby window. He begins to measure you with various tools, noting down each measurement on a piece of parchment. Around 30 or so minutes pass with him doing this. Occasionally, when he passes by you out of the corner of your eye, you can see he's also made quite an accurate and well-drawn sketch of you. With a final flourish, he places the page down, corks the ink bottle, and reaches for your sheathed sword. He pulls it out. You stare at him, bewildered. <clears throat> this is good work, the armorer remarks, a hint of admiration in his voice. He turns it over and... He holds it in the, into the light. Hmm. Looks like you won't be needing the noose. His voice cuts off, noticing something on the blade. Ah, so, you're from Eldar. My brother, the armorer, is the armorer there. Uh, you, you wouldn't happen to know if he got out. No, I'm sorry I don't, you say. He nods grimly and says, Well... I'll get a size in your armor for you then, sir. Um, should be ready by tomorrow. Just just send your boy to pick it up if you're too busy. Or, oh, and, and you can grab one of the shields from the wall there. Your boy? You think to yourself. And then you realize with shock he means your squire. With everything that's happened, you had forgotten that you were promoted not once, but twice in rapid succession. The man was right. You would need to find a squire soon. You thank the armorer for his work and take a moment to sheathe your sword and sling the new shield over your back. Leaving the armory, you step back onto the bustling streets of the town. The market, with its tempting aromas, beckons to you, but you always you also realize that you only have about three hours left of potential sleep. Do you go grab some food? Or head back to the barracks and sleep while you still can? Vote to decide Cole's destiny at NathanFoss.com slash Aldara.